Well, hello there, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. So in today's video, we're going to conclude our epic journey and catch the bat ray. I'm going to take you out to location 13 to catch this guy. He is found on locations 1 and 13 on U.S. East. However, I'm going to take you out to location 13 because, for one, that's where I've had the best luck with him. And for two, there's other fish out on location 13 that like the crawfish. So while you're trying to catch this guy, you might catch something else that's even cooler. So let's head out to 13 and I'll show you how to catch him. Okay, so here we are on location 13. Normally I don't like to do dark mode, but uh, since I have the best of luck here, ooh, there's bubbles all over the place. This will be awesome. Might be able to get it on our first cast. Uh, since I do have the best luck out here on location 13, I thought I'd bring you out here to catch it. Uh, we're going to be using the crawfish. And let me bring up the Fishopedia here and kind of show you around. There are a few different fish that like the crawfish. You are going to catch some snipe fish because these guys like the crawfish and they're on the bottom. Uh, you might catch a lot of black drum. Those are also crawfish and on all depths. However, the Atlantic football fish also likes the crawfish. It's on the bottom. You might be catching a lot of those. And I have also got the crimson drum, the unique on the crawfish when I'm going down to the bottom. So, uh, yep. And then you got your bat ray. Uh, nice thing about catching these little snipe fish is the spiny dogfish will also eat those guys. So you might be get, getting a spiny dogfish. So that's why I like to come out here to location 13 to fish for this guy because there's all kinds of other fish that you could be catching while you're trying to get the bat ray instead of just targeting with the krill. I mean, you could come out here and use the krill and not catch anything. <laughs> just keep casting. and But uh, what I would recommend is just... You know, using the crawfish, casting to all the bubbles, and that way you might catch something cool uh, along with the bat ray. You can get yourself a few, a stack of football fish or something. So let's go ahead and grab the line here. There's all kinds of bubbles over there, so I'll probably start over there. There's a couple sets of bubbles over here. I'm going to bring my line up here. I'm going to switch it over to the crawfish. And there we go. We got the crawfish there. And actually, there's a set of bubbles here. I'm going to hit my uh, thumbstick down so I can go down to the bottom. I'm hit, try those bubbles first since they're right in front. And then if I don't get anything there, then I'll head over here to those bubbles over there. And it's not a quick bite, so let's go over here to these bubbles. Let's try the one way out there first. Ooh, that landed right on top of it. I did get a quick bite. Let's see what we have. That looked like a drum. I think that's what it was called. A black and white fish. It was a black drum, I think, or something like that. Let's see when it jumps. And if it is, I'll snap the line and I'll catch the next fish. It is. Goodbye. And let's see. I don't want to go quite as far out. Let's go over here. About right there. Smacked right on top of those. Two more sets of bubbles there. I do got a set of bubbles over there as well. That is a snipe fish. I can tell by a little bitty splash. Maybe I'll get a shark on there. And I do have another set of bubbles here. Loving this controller. <laughs> That's a pretty quick bite. We'll see what we got there. Another snipe fish. All right. I'm going to keep casting around, uh, more sets of bubbles, and then I'll bring you back when I get something on the line. I am on reset number six, trying to find some bubbles. I do have some bubbles right out there. Oops, farther than that. Not quite that far. <laughs> and let me bring it up to about where the bubbles were. I think they were about there. They disappeared, so... We'll see if that gets us anything. Does not. And do I see any more bubbles anywhere else? Oh, yep, right there. There's some bubbles right there. Pretty close to it. It's an instant bite. And we'll see what we got on the line. Hopefully we got that. There we go. I think that's it. Thought I caught a glimpse of it. So I think that, what did I say? That was six resets? Let's 
interesting is I've been trying to catch this guy for three days. So when I play this on multiplayer, I get them all the time. But when I'm recording, they don't want to spawn. They don't want to show up. <laughs> so I, I played multiplayer the other day. And I got a whole bunch of these. There's just over and over and over. And I was like, oh, this is going to be an easy video to make. And then I tried to record the video and I couldn't get them to spawn. I, record, I recorded for probably an hour and a half, maybe to two hours, trying to get these things, trying to find one. I could not find one anywhere. And then last night I get on multiplayer and in a period of about 30 minutes, I think I caught another four or five <laughs> just on multiplayer. So I don't know if they're more frequent on multiplayer than they are on single player. Kind of be something to try out, go on multiplayer and see if I get more. But there he is. There's the battery. That's a pretty good size one, 66. The ones I was getting last night was in the lower 60s. So well, there you have it. There's how you catch the bat ray. Uh, like I said, come out here to location 13, throw a crawfish on there. That'll help you catch other fish as well. There's other epics and there's the unique that's out here that I was able to catch with the crawfish. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if it was, make sure you give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you can see more tips and tricks like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.